In this video, I talk about why it's important to service your differential and the service intervals that I use on my 2019 six, seven power stroke. Now I'm going to structure this video in two sections. The first where I talk about the recommended service intervals and the intervals that I follow. And then the second part of the video, I'm going to discuss thermal runaway a little bit. And also I'll be linking to two videos that I think do a really good job explaining the importance of regularly servicing your rear and front differential. So what are Ford's recommended service intervals? Well, the Ford Motor Company recommends you change your differential oil every 100,000 miles. That is under what Ford considers normal operating conditions. So you're driving the truck, mostly unloaded, you're using it as a commuter rig, and you're not really stressing it or loading it far beyond or near the gross vehicle weight rating. So normal use front and rear differentials across all models of axles, they say 100,000. Now, under severe use, so uh, driving the truck in a spirited way or towing heavy or hauling near your max GVWR capacity, Ford recommends 50,000 mile drain and fill intervals for both differentials. I've been towing quite a bit in the last three months. I've been towing campers and the truck has been running close to its GVWR max. So recently I just changed my differential fluid and I swapped my differential cover over to a bank stiff cover. I'm not going to do a how-to video to install because that's not really the purpose of this channel. You should go watch a video by PTT with A-Rod if you want to see how to do an install correctly. I am not a technician. I'm not an expert on how to fix these trucks but I'm an owner and I want to talk about how I go about maintaining it. But I did do the Banks install myself. It's not too bad. It took me about two hours and you can probably do it too as long as you just go watch A-Rod's video first. In my opinion, I think the differential is one of the most forgotten pieces of maintenance on all vehicles, let alone pickup trucks. And so I... I've been doing my front and rear at 100,000. I did them I did them a little early. I did them around 85k before and I just did my rear uh, after putting 50k on it. Now, the front differential to me, you could also do at 50k if you wanted to be even, but I really only use four-wheel drive five times a year usually, maybe even less. It was more when I was plowing and I would have to go drive to the location. I didn't plow in this truck. I plowed in a loader, but I had to drive through snow. And so I use four-wheel drive quite a bit. But th this winter, I think I've used four-wheel drive three times. And so to me, I you know, you could probably get away with doing it every 100,000 miles and that front differential will be fine. I think if you're using four-wheel drive once a week and if you're using it to haul and you're, you know, you're running it a lot, that front differential a lot, you could probably get down to 50k. And again, these are Ford's recommendations that I'm following. I think you could do more often. I'm going to actually try to see if I could do oil analysis on my differential fluid because I haven't really seen anyone try to do that here on YouTube. And I think it would be interesting because this whole running oil analysis on my engine has really opened my eyes to the fact that like you can say intervals all you want, but you really don't know what's going on with that oil until you test it. But right now I'm running Amsoil 75W140 in my rear. I have a Sterling 10.5 axle and I am not, uh, I don't have any sort of locker or limited slip in it. So that was, was what was recommended by Amsoil uh, and Ford for my axle. So I'm pretty much going by the book here. I know a lot of people really like the bank stiff cover and I, I mean, it's a beautiful product. It makes a lot of sense. You know, I haven't really heard of people blowing up their differentials because of them overheating. I'm sure it's more like a slow burn where it's like if you skip changing your differential fluid over time, you're going to wear that gear down and maybe in like 500,000 miles, it will fail. I thought it was interesting that Banks decided to really focus on the heat because in his video, which I'll link to below, he doesn't really establish what the ideal operating temperature for a rear differential is. It kind of just says heat is bad, which I agree with, but heat is bad. And this Ram air cover is going to reduce the heat 
on your rear diff to extend the life of the oil and the differential and prevent thermal runaway. I added it mainly because I wanted an easy way to drain and fill my differential without having to constantly use gasket reseal because I got to do it every 50,000 miles. Even more important than changing the differential cover to reduce the heat in your diff, you just need to change that fluid regularly and I would follow Ford's guidelines. If you wanna do it more often at 30K, be my guest, but change the fluid. You know, it's a fluid, it needs to be changed. The oil, especially if you're running it hard, is not going to last very long if you're just letting it go and running it up to 200,000 miles. Like that is probably terrible for the diff. This video is sponsored by Union Coffee Company. They are a small roaster in Southern New Hampshire in an area where I grew up. I know the owner really well and they are making delicious coffee. Now, one of the coffees that I've been running is this dark roast and they actually make it in a tea bag that you can use to just steep your coffee with hot water. So it doesn't require any fancy grinders or brewing apparatuses for you to use. You can buy them. I find they're really useful on the road. So when I'm towing campers and I'm camping out in my cap, I just need to find some hot water. I can dunk the tea bag in there and have really good coffee. I have a discount code for Union Coffee. So please, if you like coffee, buy some from them. They drop ship all over the United States. They have light roast, medium roast, dark roast. They have t-shirts and different kinds of merch uh, and they are a big sponsor of this channel and just a place that i love going my brother and i used to go to union when we lived in southern new hampshire every day before we went to go wrench on our vehicles just so we could get adequately caffeinated so if you're a diyer and you like getting a good caffeine buzz on before you go out and do a project be sure to check out union coffee i will leave a discount code below thank you very much for watching Cheers. So why is this all important? Why should you even bother changing your differential fluid? And the answer is thermal runaway. Now there's a really good video that's on Power Stroke Help where Bill Hewitt has Bob Brown, who's a, he's a certified lubrication specialist. It's an old video, it's like six, seven years old, but it's a really good one. He has a nice diagram there where he talks about thermal runaway, which basically means as the load increases on your differential, as the oil becomes heater, it becomes thinner. And if the oil can't take that heat and pressure, it will become thinner, which will result in increased wear and less lubrication, which will in turn cause more heat, which in turn makes thinner oil, which in turn causes more wear, and that cycle just goes. And so this is their diagram, so please refer to this video if you really wanna see their, they have a, like another chart with test results, and it's very informative. And Banks talks about this idea of thermal runaway too. So essentially at a bare minimum to protect your differential, you need to make sure that you're changing that fluid because as soon as the oil loses its molecular integrity, that cycle of thermal runaway is starting. And I think the Banks diff cover is probably a great option for people who are towing heavy because it, it helps the fluid stay cool and interrupts that cycle of thermal runaway. By keeping the oil cool when you increase the load, it doesn't make the oil thinner. It allows the oil to keep lubricating and protecting those parts. And so that cycle is broken and you don't have to worry about premature wear on your differential. I do wanna be clear, like, I don't think it's very common for people to blow up their diffs. Maybe if you're running a hot tune on a truck or maybe if you're towing well above the GVWR, but if you're changing your fluid at the recommended intervals for Ford, it will be fine. Just make sure you add it to your list and keep it as a, you know, a regular maintenance item because it is certainly one that a lot of people forget about. I think a lot of trucks that are running around on the road today probably haven't had their diff changed ever you know it's probably still the factory fluid and that is terrifying if you're trying to keep your truck for a long time if you're someone that's just going to sell your truck after you put a hundred thousand miles on it then fine don't do your diff fluid but if you want to keep it for a long time and not have to replace that rear gear make sure you're changing that differential fluid at least every hundred thousand miles if not sooner if you're operating under extreme operating conditions